Hi there, so it will come as no surprise to any of you that after a very wet December, the updated soil moisture map shows a lot of blue colours across the UK, indicating very wet soils for many places, uh, with soils close to saturation, so really not able to take much more water, as I'm sure many of you will know by now. So that does make a lot of places susceptible to flooding, so with any further heavy rainfall, it does put that as a risk as the soils are already close to saturation. So something to bear in mind still got very wet soils as we can see keep that in mind as we look at the forecast for the next few days so starting off the day on wednesday across eastern parts it will be a dry and chilly start for many places however we will have cloud and rain across western parts at first soon spreading eastwards as we go through the day on Wednesday, potentially turning wintry on this leading edge as we go through the day as it moves eastwards. So the risk of some freezing rain, some sleet, some snow, most likely over higher ground in the north, but definitely a potential, so keep that in mind perhaps not reaching sort of far eastern parts until the very end of the day. So maybe staying dry, drier in some places here, but also in the southwest, a few drier intervals, but this uh, spell of rain then pushing in towards the end of the afternoon as well. So a mixed bag for Wednesday. And as we go into Thursday, it looks like this rain will sort of linger across many parts throughout the day on Thursday, as you can see here. So the potential for some further spells of sleet or snow at times as that lingers in the east and with rain lingering for quite a lot of the day, also the potential for flooding in a few places. So do keep that in mind. But for elsewhere in the UK, although there may be a few spells of rain in the south at first, we'll have this ridge of high pressure building throughout the day. So helping to bring a settled end to Thursday for many places. Now looking towards Friday, we've got this area of low pressure just to the southeast, so that might bring a few spells of rain to southeastern parts at first. But as we go through the day, that will generally clear towards the continent and we'll have this ridge of high pressure bringing many settled conditions for many places on Friday before into Saturday, this area of rain starts to spread eastwards once again. So further rain likely on Saturday, so do keep that in mind. But towards the end of Saturday, this little ridge of high pressure coming to southwestern parts with just a few showers possible in the northwest. So if you're looking to do any spraying, the best time for this, the most ideal spraying conditions are under these sort of more settled weather, these ridges of high pressure. So starting off the day on Wednesday in the east where it is dry, uh, there'll be some good spraying conditions for you there. But as that rain arrives, things becoming slightly worse for spraying. But then into uh, following that rain clearing into Thursday and Friday, another ridge of high pressure, things getting slightly better for spraying before things deteriorate once again. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, but uh, some good spraying conditions in there as well. So let's go on to the forecast for early next week. But before we look at this, just uh, going into Sunday, it does look like there'll be a ridge of high pressure following that spell of rain that we saw on Saturday. So maybe a little more settled weather there if you missed your spraying opportunities earlier in the week. But as we said, into early next week, the next area of low pressure arriving at some point, maybe late Sunday into Monday. So bringing further spells of rain for many places, perhaps wintry over high ground in some places as well with those red bits showing just bits of freezing rain or some sleet and snow mixed in there as well so that to bear in mind so unsettled for the first part of next week but as we go towards the middle of the week that area of low pressure will clear out to the east and as that clears that will introduce some slightly colder air from the sort of north northeast direction so feeling colder for many places as we go towards the middle of next week you can see the sort of wintry mixture of things we've got up to the north there indicating some wintry showers sort of starting to come into the northwest so some cold air bringing the risk of frosts and icy patches once again and reintroducing that sort of more wintry weather you can also see this area of low pressure sort of out to the southwest of the uk and it does look like through sort of from the middle of next week onwards, it does look like we'll have areas of low pressure tracking across southern Britain. So the thing to bear in mind is as this sort of low pressure, as the rain meets the sort of colder air that we'll have across sort of northeastern parts um, of Britain, as that rain meets that colder air, there could be some sort of wintry precipitation on the leading edge of that band of rain. So we're talking about sort of spells of sleet, some snow in there, and it could be quite disruptive at times. So something to bear in mind, keep an eye on the forecast, things could turn wintry from the middle of next week. 
Now, as always, if you need any more details in the forecast, if you need something a bit more specialist, the best place to come is our forecasters. They're available every day from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. and the number to call is 09065 777675 with calls costing £1.55 a minute. We're always happy to speak to you. So let's take a look at the air mass temperature ensemble. So to find out more about ensemble forecasting, click the link up here. But this is the ensemble forecast for the air mass temperature. So that's uh, at 850 millibars, so just above sort of uh, higher up in the atmosphere, just to give us an idea of the temperature of the air mass. Um, so it's a good idea of sort of how temperature trends will go over the sort of next uh, coming weeks or so. So you can see here that um, as we go, as we get that rain sort of coming in from the west uh, through Wednesday, we're introducing some mild air here, so the, a peak in the graph there, and then another peak towards the weekend as that other area of low pressure comes in from the west. And you can see a similar thing happening here as well with that area of low pressure on Monday. But as we go into towards the sort of the second part of next week, from the middle of next week, so around kind of Wednesday sort of time we can see a fall in the uh, air mass temperature. So we are expecting things to turn a bit chilly. You can see a lot of the ensemble members are going for that kind of theme as we go into the second part of next week. So something to really bear in mind. And you can see sort of the, the peak of the sort of low temperatures around the sort of weekend there. So expecting things to get quite chilly. Um, but potentially picking up slightly once again as we go towards the end of January as well. So maybe uh, the, coldest, the coldest period around here, then picking up again slightly. And you can kind of see that in this uh, chart as well. You can see sort of as we go towards Wednesday, much of the, the sort of the UK expecting sort of a medium to high chance of below average temperatures. You know, you can see the blues across uh, all places here, really, for the sort of uh, from Wednesday onwards and across much of the sort of rest of January into February as well. The only sort of exceptions that we're looking at are some southwestern parts, which are these areas here, which have got those sort of white colours and the the sort of lighter blue indicating a very low or a low chance of below average temperature so things might be slightly milder here for a time and as we said towards this sort of end of January you can see a sort of slightly lower chance here so suggesting there might be some slightly less cold weather but generally the pattern is sort of dominated by these blue colors so it does look like we are about to enter a spell of cooler weather. So taking a look at our monthly forecast then, although the sort of next week or so will be sort of a mixture of these ridges of high pressure followed by areas of rain, as we go into week two, so the, the following week, it does look to become more Atlantic dominated. So areas of low pressure coming in from the west, tracking across southern Britain, as we said, steered by the jet stream, which has sort of become slightly more southerly shifted steering them across southern Britain into Central Europe and Eastern Europe. So going eastwards across the continent and bringing unsettled weather to many places. You can see these green colours across much of Europe indicating wetter than average conditions. So there'll be plenty of spells of rain, but also some sleet and snow mixed in there as well with the cold temperatures. And you can see here as well, like we talked about, the sort of beginning of those colder temperatures creeping onto the UK here. But, you know, we've got very cold temperatures across much of Scandinavia and parts of Western Russia too. So with the cold temperatures, as we have been talking about a lot in the last sort of few minutes, um, we are expecting the coldest temperatures, as we said, sort of around that weekend. That's sort of towards the end of our week two monthly forecast into the beginning of week three. So to sort of highlight that, I've chosen this period between the 23rd and the 25th of January, just to give you an idea of sort of what we're expecting. And this is the mean... Um, the, the percentage chance of mean temperatures to be uh, five degrees below average. So you can see across the map here, looking towards the UK, we're looking at a 10 to 20% chance of temperatures five degrees Celsius below average. So that's quite a high chance and even higher across some parts of Scotland, slightly lower in some southwestern parts where, as we said, things may be a little milder for a time, but just highlighting that we are expecting a cooler spell of weather. So this is definitely a period of time to keep your eyes on. 
So as we go into week three, not much change in the pattern actually. We're still expecting areas of low pressure to sort of track uh, eastwards across the, the continent, across southern Britain and then into Europe. Uh, as per the previous week and really not much change in the precipitation sort of pattern either with still a lot of those green colours across uh, central parts of Europe and really the only brown colours towards the north and the south there indicating drier than average conditions. Looking at the temperature anomaly, um, as you can see, we have still got a lot of blues across the sort of northern parts of Europe and across northern uh, Scotland, but we are expecting the coldest temperatures to be at the start of this uh, period, so the start of uh, week three. And as we go into sort of the towards the end of January, towards the last part of week three, we're expecting some slightly milder conditions. So that's what skewed this map here. Those slightly milder conditions bring those white colours onto the map and balancing out the cold temperatures that we'll see in the start of the week. So quite a lot of change expected in the temperatures for week three. And then into week four, the first week of February, still not much change expected, still looking like we'll be low pressure dominated, looking like a continuation of the same pattern coming in from the Atlantic. Still a lot of those green colours over the map there, um, a little bit more variable as we go into week four, but as, as it's so far out, the signals are slightly uh, less strong. And with the temperatures, we're still looking like we've got those cooler temperatures across northern parts, while southern parts do stay slightly uh, more above average. Um, but you can see southern parts of Britain closer to those average colours, suggesting uh, some sort of brief incursions of milder air at times. So to summarise, um, into tomorrow we'll have rain spreading eastwards throughout the day and as we said, perhaps turning wintry on that leading edge of the rain as well, so something to watch out for and lingering across many eastern parts into Thursday, so the potential for flooding in a few spots, especially with that rain being quite persistent on Thursday in the east, so just something to bear in mind, but occasional ridges of high pressure too following those spells of rain, so quite a mixed bag, but as we go into the following week, a more mobile pattern developing so areas of low pressure coming in from the west tracking across southern Britain but as we said that colder air potentially coming down from the north northeast kind of direction bringing a chillier theme to the weather as well and bringing the potential for frost ice and spells of snow at times so it could be quite a disruptive week of weather uh, ahead of us um, and that pattern really looking to sort of continue for the rest of January and into the start of February but just with the idea of maybe a slightly milder end to January so thank you for watching this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. As always, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, get in touch with us on social media, or if you're watching on YouTube, leave us a thumbs up and a comment below. Thank you.